Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, the sun has finally came out, but the ground is still soggy wet. And the garden, if I was to step into it, I would sink down. That's not good news. But we got more rain coming in, and at least we've got some sunshine, at least to help out some before the next rain comes in. So if you continue watching this video, I'm going to show a little bit of clips um, of the rain here. And actually into the video, it doesn't look as bad as it was or bad as it is. The ground is so soggy and we've had so much rain for about, I would say probably about six weeks. You know, we might get a break. Uh, if we get a break, it's been just cloudy. We did have some sun the other day before this last rain came in, but the wind is like an arctic chill. It really makes your fingers cold very quickly. And actually it's getting down to 27 tonight. So we're expecting some freezing going on. And uh, so we're just gonna have to, you know, stay focused and, you know, just wait this thing out. So let me show you a little bit of the garden. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, it's really wet. And this is the thing is that I have um, onions over there that's been planted. And these onions are not doing that well. You know, onions like a lot of water. They like nitrogen, they like water. Well, my soil has a lot of nitrogen in it but it's too much water and so the benefit of all this through all this situation that we've been going through here on the east coast as far as gardening is that you know the fertilizers and it's getting into the soil and so really in a sense it's i could say it's probably no waste probably we'll have to go back and put some more in and make sure it just didn't you know so you know wash away or whatever because we've had that much rain here but the onions are just not, they're not taken off because there's just not enough sun. And plants have to have sun. Into my green, my greenhouse, into my bathroom is turned into a greenhouse. And the greenhouse is under construction. And I'm looking forward to that. At least I'll have an area. But also, through this situation, it's created my mind to think, you know, what if we don't have any sun? We don't have any sun for a period. What am I going to do about that? What if the temperatures get cold? What am I going to do about that? So in every situation, we should just look at it as a learning process. What can I learn from this? What should I do? What should I not do? And that's how I kind of take life. You know, when things happen, it creates awareness in me to make a decision to uh, you know, do something differently, do something new, uh, change some things. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the clips I'm going to show you of this uh, storm that we had here onto the East Coast where other people got uh, freezing ice, uh, snow. We got the rain. And so all of it's bad. Not counting where, not far from where I live at, there was a tornado about 50 minutes from my house. It just tore up a place and three were killed and several were injured. A lot of destruction. So we need to... Be sure that we're prayed up and stay focused. All right, guys, thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share. And remember, God, no, guys, no matter what you go through, learn to make it a great day. The key word is make it. Sometimes it's, you know, we can shake our head. We've got to find a solution and make it a great day. God bless you. And stay tuned for the video that's fixing to come after this.
guys, I'm heading out there to speed up. I was trying to get out there before the rain, but it actually wasn't supposed to start in about another 30 minutes, and it seems like it always starts early. So I thought I'd bring my camera out here to see how things are going. Of course, you see the garden. And, uh, yeah. You can hear the rain. Man. You know, for a gardener, anybody that loves planting, that's kind of heartbreaking. But no matter what the situation is, we just trust God and and make it a great day. The water hasn't gone down much since yesterday evening. Not at all. I think the rain at this point has slowed down, but it's actually supposed to pick up again, I think in about an hour. So. It's gone down just a little bit. It's only because it slowed down. I'm thinking about an hour, well, you know, you can't really go off on time frame that it's going to go back up to 80%. Right now it's at 33%, so it just uh, took a little bit of a break as it usually does, and it picks right back up again. So this has gone down just a little bit from yesterday evening. That's good, but it's getting cold, and the weather was talking about ice. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of expecting that. I'm kind of expecting that my car is parked there because I got to get out of here. You, know, I, I, you got to put yourself in a position. You got to get out. And, uh, it may not look that bad on video, but you start driving in that, you're not going anywhere. It's just like a sponge. Some eggs. Sure, thank God. So all these babies are waiting on me to get out here. And I looked out the door and I was like, okay, let me get out there because I know rain is coming and uh, we're getting, you know, not coming, but it's going to be more rain. And you can hear it picking up at this point in time. This morning I was going to come out at 5 a.m. It had, that's where it kind of, the rain, the water level dropped a little bit. It had slowed down then. But then it, I looked at the weather and it started picking up and I said, well, you know, I'm going to wait just a little bit. Yesterday morning I was out here in the dark. I have a light out here, but, but yeah, all that, and they were still into the coop, poor things. Dogs will be coming out in a minute. This weather, you definitely gotta have a good pair. I'll be out here in just a minute. All right, stay right there, stay warm, stay, stay dry. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Gosh, it's gonna get wet. I know it's time to feed, right? You hungry? You ready for breakfast? Ah, oh, okay. Get up and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't get wet. Guys, I'm going out here. Go ahead and get everything fed up because, as you can hear the rain in the background, it is picking up. And I want to get everybody fed up. Check out the water. And, uh, yeah, I'll be out here for a little bit. My poor garden. What? It is what it is. Got to roll with the punches. Back there is a bird. It's out here feeding up. And I seen the bird fly in. I went and got my camera. 
Even he's looking for shelter and for food. Probably can't see him back there. He's not even moving, poor thing. He's just sitting there because he's tired of the rain. This is a bone chilling rain. Don't fly away, little bird. I'm going. I wanted to come off on this side to see if I can get a picture of the bird. It is a bone chilling. Don't fly away, little bird. I'm okay. Okay, I'll back up. Okay. He's looking for some food. He'll find food around here. It's grain on the ground. 